My name is Alessandro Tezzini and I'm responsible for the ITER remote handling section. I'm here today to explain to you what remote handling means for the ITER project. Remote handling is required uh, for uh, uh, the maintenance and upgrade of the machine after that it will become uh, activated uh, following uh, the nuclear reaction that are associated with the fusion. Uh, the remote handling equipment will be utilized inside the vacuum chamber that you can see here and it will be introduced through these uh, lateral ports which are located at the top, medium and uh, bottom level of the machine for the removal of the components which are very heavy and very big. The uh, remote handling equipment will be controlled and uh, uh, operated from a control room by a team of uh, expert uh, remote handling engineers. What are the uh, challenges for remote handling? The challenges consist mainly in the fact that we have to handle very large components inside the machine with very high degree of accuracy and especially with a high level of uh, reliability. Another big challenge is the fact that uh, the vacuum vessel is, uh, is a dark place and we have to carry inside, with, together with the remote handling equipment, also the lighting system. Further, we have to negotiate very narrow gaps and very tight tolerances uh, when operating this remote handling equipment and this requires a very highly sophisticated uh, control system. Infusion remote handling is uh, based on uh, teleoperation which requires demand to be in the loop and therefore constantly in control of the remote handling operations. ITER has planned to design and uh, demonstrate the feasibility of remote handling operations uh, through a large program of research and development which will be supported by the ITER participating countries. This will include the construction of uh, large mock-ups where the main remote handling operations will be tested and the remote handling operators will be trained. We are sure that by doing this, uh, the remote handling operation in ITER will be highly successful and will guarantee a high level of machine availability and program success.